hello, this is Titan Speeds, and I'm doing mission um, 4 for the Halo 4 Reflow um, mod, No Death Legionary Playthrough. And I've got the score, Legionary, the Iron Skull, and the Grand Birthday Party. Like, this mission ain't too bad with checkpoints and stuff, but a death list, it's pretty tough. I was sort of worried about this mission, but I'm more worried about the last mission, because the last mission is hard. I hate the space part with, with the um, spaceship thing, but I mean, I'm probably going to get used to it where um, I'm going to just pass it like mainly every time. I doubt it's going to be as hard as the Halo Reach Knight of Solace mission when you've got, you're in that space part. That, that's like my worst mission in Halo history. They must not have received his distress call. I shouldn't have even shot. I'm an idiot. They literally, um, they literally, like, you can run into them and they'll leave. Alright, so you jump from off there, and then you have to go down here. I hate when there's a lot of them, because... You like panic and you don't know what, what one to start shooting in the head, but like if you just focus and you um just focus on one at a time, you'll be a lot better off, <laughs> even if you're getting overwhelmed. But it's hard to focus when you're getting overwhelmed. That thing sucks. It literally sucks you in. Like, you can't even get out of it. No matter what you do. I've gotten out of it once, I think. Somehow. <laughs> I wish there was a way of me knowing how to get out of it. Like, you can just be running like this, and you're just getting sucked in like a tornado or something. I don't, I don't know what this does, this, this overcharge. I was trying to figure out what it actually does. Like, it's garbage. It's garbage, like what does it even do? It's so stupid. Range, it does absolutely nothing. It's just like a gun that wastes bullets and does no damage to nothing. Like, I wonder if it even kills them. It's not that powerful, it's not good enough for um, taking out knights. <clears throat> not for me anyway. No, 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 come on. Don't do this. There's a lot of parts where you um, can stop the um, those sentinel things reviving knights. We don't want that. <laughs> the less we can have, the easier it will be. For everyone. Well, for me. <laughs> for more meaning like my marines and stuff not dying, but... Alright. Uh, might take that.
Oh boy, no. <sighs> I hate that thing. Hate those grenades on this. I'm gonna throw those grenades at this knight. That'll be nice. So I don't know what really that, um, the drone thing that pops up, I think it's just like a thing to help you out and it can like shoot and stuff, but I don't find it way too helpful. Oh no! Come on. Them grenades though, they're, they're terrifying. How about you having one? That sound fun for ya? Shot. Them grenades are horrible. I wish they didn't like suck anything in. It's absolutely terrifying when you know you're gonna die. We've got another IFF Definitely when you're doing like one of the holding off points, like literally before the tank part and the other part where it's a little bit more of a, a way on surviving like with vehicles and stuff, but not always. Take that. So I'm going to use this. I'm pretty sure there's another DMR here, while I was more happier to shoot the DMR than any other gun. You retrieve this, and then you get um, some marines on your team for this next part, which is pretty cool, but to be honest, they don't really survive that long. The Spartans must go out because I don't exactly watch the cutscene, but like I wish I had the Spartans on my team now as well. That would be pretty cool. Oh, you fudge full crap. No. Nope. How does that feel? Oh yeah. Maybe I have to use their own grenades on them. That's the, that's the key. <laughs> Teach them a lesson, but except they don't die from the one explosion, which is so bullshit. So you just gotta have your eyes out for these tricky. Um, 
fellas. So do we have a... I'm gonna... I'm gonna reconsider. I think. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Shotgun's not the ideal. I was finding it quite good at times. Even better would be this. So I can kill the um, knight over here with the range gun. Uh, I fell back down here, but. When I did, fell over here. Not too sure where the shield is, but the shield's pretty good. I wish, like, at the shield right, and you were, <clears throat> grenade was coming, and you, like, turned the shield on, and it, like, when it blew up and it didn't actually hurt you, that'd be pretty cool, too. That could work. God, I hate when they rush at you like that. It's ex um, it's extremely horrifying when that happens. Chief, it's Lasky. We're getting reports of friendlies pinned down in position. Can you assist? <clears throat> but the only things that literally throw the grenades are literally knights. So killing, making sure you kill the knights is your main priority. You'd be pretty decent, but um. Down to kill you, knight. Alright, seven bullets. Holograms run really fast. And it loads up really fast too. It's worth a try. Because <clears throat> at least it will take some firing off me at times. Until I get something else. These teams won't last for long out here. Finding an LZ should be our top priority. <laughs> Nearly got me off another grenade. As you see, I was getting sucked in when I was running forward. I sort of knew that was happening. The grenade, so I, that's why I was running. All I could do is try. Got ya. 
again. <clears throat> Alright, I might actually trade these two guns, because that rail gun is like life and death, literally. <clears throat> if I could, um... Ten rail gun shot should be enough, <clears throat> but I've just got to watch out for um These other things. Oh god, no, grenades, yep, <clears throat> that's all I can do, that's all I can do, I go watch out for, um, die you stupid things, god no, no, grenade again, oh I gotta go, I gotta go, hologram, come on, yeah, fuck, no, I can't get around there, dumb, dumb, God, it's not fair. <clears throat> okay, holograms aren't really working, and now I've lost all my uh, possible weapons I could have used for some reason. Well, it's not exactly for some reason, but... I ran away from it. Oh, yep. Oh, crap. Fuck. God damn it. Jesus, they don't they don't stop coming. And uh <clears throat> I'm in the worst spot because I don't have my DMR. I sort of need to get it. Yes. Good. I'm gonna have to. You're a little crap and I got nothing nothing to actually take. This is garbage. I have a gun. Did, did, that <clears throat> did that say there was an assault rifle there? <sighs> I'm pretty screwed. Like. Those witches alive. I'm gonna kill it. Um. No, I'm gonna just have to put things into my own hands. Like, there's no way I'm getting back over there. I guess I'm fucked anyway. I can't really do anything. I can just hope. Are 
No, come on. Need to kill these like last two guys with this. That was definitely scary. That whole, that whole part. <laughs> Don't know what it is with the DMR. The DMR doesn't have as much. Headshots, but I think because it's not a burst and the burst just hits more shots than it would normally. Okay, so that's not a bad idea. Running over there with maybe like this gun in the DMR and running over there as the waves start, but I don't know. Seems pretty weird. Hey, another rail gun. Cool. Oh. I seriously don't know anymore. I sort of have to take this. It's like exactly my 10 bullets. Hologram, not really much help. Might be later on though, but um... The shield would have helped out a lot more. That's for sure. But this is when the Covenant start working together. Right. As soon as I got um, hit from that right, I remembered I died before. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I wasn't there. Oh boy. That could have gone bad. Oh boy. That could go bad too. I don't, I don't know how, Jackal, but you think you're feeling like you're safer there. Oh no. Alright. I'm gonna run all the way back. Oh boy. No, I'm not loaded. Rip. Oh boy, that was lucky. Run forward too much. I'm willing to wait the 15 seconds in case any of those drone things come over and revive any of these knights. You definitely don't want that. Okay, I need to make sure these guns are reloaded and stuff.
We're not getting any elites. Like, obviously the elites Cortana got wrecked. LZ is secured. Roger that, Cortana. I'll give you the coordinates. Mayday, mayday. So now a phantom does come. The railgun literally saves your life. I'm not even kidding. It's pretty good. Doors breach! Doors breach! All units return to infinity immediately. That's an order. Without the railgun though, I would have been in a real bad situation. <clears throat> Which I already, already was, like, I sort of, if I didn't get that gun thrown at me from the dead uh, yes, night, luck, I wouldn't have had a, too much of a nice route there. But, um, now we're in the tank section and I've got to remember to run straight for that tank. Nothing else, nothing else matters anymore. Get out, get out, oh, crap. We're here, stuck. Come on. <laughs> no, nope. we don't want this. So we do have a Warhog in front of us, which is at least something helpful. But um, you still want to stay back and really take your time. I wish it wasn't so foggy or smoky or whatever. I know there's a wraith here though. Oh boy, no, fuck, 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 shit. No one any surprises, so I kill everything that could possibly get a vehicle. Or, or, I mean, I kill all the vehicles so nothing can jump into vehicles, sorry. <clears throat> so I think the last part of the tank part, you get put up, you get brought up a lift. And then you gotta kill hunters and crap. But I had a point where this wraith shot through, like, through that, and literally managed to um, hit me on my playthrough, which is bullshit.
I just I know I haven't been having a easy fun time on this mission. So I went to this left way, as I remember. Okay, there was something there. I just felt like there was, and there was. That was happy. That could have been like a few rod grunt or something. Who knows? Alright, so I don't think there's too many enemies. I don't want to jinx myself and get overwhelmed. I'm not exactly saying there is not much enemies, I just said I don't know. <laughs> don't think so. So you just want to shoot a little bit above whatever you're looking at, because usually it goes down a little bit. There's a bit of like, um, there's a bit of like a thing where it goes down when you shoot it. Oh fuck, no! No, get out! Rafe, god damn it! Stupid Rafe, and there's going to be a Fjord grunt or something stupid as well. run them over, make sure they're dead. Alright, so, I don't think there's any more wraiths, thank god for that, but, <sighs> oh yeah, so I was, I was like waiting, right, and I'm like, okay, why am I not going forward, and then like, I literally walked on my playthrough, I walked forward, it was like the tiniest bit, and then it's like closed up, but like, there's so much room behind me, oh no, oh no, I'm, I'm not paying attention, no, Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Not really. I'm actually in a good spot because I can go side to side. So I might have done the right thing. I'm not straight above. I'm not straight like looking at them face to face. I sort of am. If my tank turned. So I don't think you can uh you can go sideways when you're forward. Like if I was like this. And I need to turn. I can't really. You'd have to turn anyway. There you go. Alright, we've got a full team. We don't have, like, I don't think this part of the tank goes for much longer. Because I have to get out of the tank, I remember, and go for a little door that you can't fit your tank in. If I could fit the tank in there, though, that would be pretty good, but not really, because this next part is very difficult. Well, when you go outside, I'm thinking about just, like, jumping out and avoiding all that and just kill everything with my... Kill all the, like... Uh, kill all the vehicles and stuff with my guns and all that instead of instead of using the um, robot mech. Well, not not right now. Like I'm gonna have to use the mech for this certain part. But then when I have to destroy the things, I'll destroy the. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Fall down and glitch out. They'll be. So depressing. The hatch to the maintenance causeway is jammed. 
Is it? What about now? <laughs> no. Oh god. Okay, wait, this thing's a way better though. It's, it's got a lot of like swirl. I forgot I can um, destroy the bridge. That would kill anything that tries to get its little guns onto me. God, that bridge is annoying though. It's like in my way right now. Real bad. Not the most accurate gun in the world, though. Love how the grunts survive the bridge fall and they're fine. I mean, you might not die in real life, but um, you'd at least hurt yourself by falling off and hitting your face or something. It is a game. I'm gonna come over and I mean Sentinel gonna come over and help him. Oh boy. I wish you could sprint with these robots, it'd be great. You can still move around a lot, but the Banshees and the Phantoms, they just hit you so fast and they killed me so many times on my practice on the, like, for this certain part, like, just the end, because I died. I didn't really, I haven't like really been past that point to get to the tank and that wave point, I've like sort of died beforehand, so this is like my first time really passing all of this, other than the playthrough that was like checkpoints and I was dying a lot of times, like see I didn't actually die at that other point when I did a practice, but I had a real bad time when I was getting rushed and then I tried to run over to the other side with like no bullets really, bit of a problem I had there. I wish I had this mech for the whole game. Till nights like um, easy as. That thing can't even get a shot on to me. Can't load. I heard sounds like grunts or something still alive. As I remember, this is the part that is not the part that I fought. Don't worry. Well, maybe it is. Okay, yeah, maybe it is. So we're going to lift, going up to that thing to the, um, clear the guns out for it. I'm wondering if I can sort of stay inside and kill any banshees that are there, and then so I can sort of jump out. And maybe I could, like, jump out and in and, in and out of the, um, 
thing quickly, like go over to that, that um, area that I was talking about. So once there's the phantoms, you're pretty good, and then it's literally like going to be the end of the level. Alright, well, we're going in. Everything I can kill here will be good. But um See the jammers, three of them. Shoot them down. I have to go around the other side. Don't close on me. So, as you can see, there's banshees, which I'm going to stay in here if I can. It's my safest option of survival. Normally when you kill the banshees, there's two of them. I can destroy that and then jump out and just kill the aliens with my guns that I've got. So this door behind you will lock if you uh, run out too much. What was that? What was that shot? It was like not even looking at me yet the, the um, fuel rod's still coming towards me, bruh. Little aim bother. I don't believe the developers gave you aimbot elite in that banshee. They did. We still have a benchy. I sort of want to know I'm good. If I can, if I can get around here and uh, destroy this thing very fast, like right now, okay, I can destroy it. All right. Does that mean the door doesn't shut on my face? Oh, please don't shut! Please don't shut! It shut on me before. So good. So good. I can just wait in here with the mech. It's gonna be safer. So before um I was waiting over there, but I can just like take shots at these guys, kill any of the um covenant quite easily. And this door should stay open for me now that I'm here. Our 
So they've obviously destroyed any of those Covenant that were meant to come in. This is probably a strategy for um, Lasso as well, to try staying here. I reckon. Because I'm playing Lasso with a friend, one of us will probably stay in here, and one of us will probably go out, destroy the guns, and come back into here straight away. And that should work out perfectly. But again, Lasso on co-op's a lot easier, because it's not deathless exactly. I mean, it sort of is, but on solo, it's deathless. And it'd be harder than this, like, doing a Lasso, deathless, holy. It'd drive me mad. Alright, let me heal up a little bit, and then I'll go back out. Check any Covenant. Object complete. Here we go, that should be the level. So there shouldn't be any more phantoms, nothing. Um, and it should just end. Let's hope. The Didact gets shot at for ages. Even by me, and then like when I shoot this rocket, see so I shot the rocket, and before it hits, the the didact just wants to get out because doesn't want to deal with this rocket of this thing. So that's pretty much how you get that to leave. I'm joking, that just leaves anyway. Leaves because of all the firing. But like it wasn't scared of the ships, it was just scared of this robot's um, firing machine gun. I think it couldn't handle it. It's too much damage. Oh, thank goodness this is over. It wasn't actually, it wasn't too bad of a mission, the end was really hard, the start wasn't too bad, it was that holding off point where I nearly died, and I was, sorry about swearing a lot, it's just, I guess, in the moment, of, of like, getting scared and nearly dying. But Halo 4 is like, sort of, Cutscenes look pretty good. I don't really like the armor for Halo 4 for Master Chief, but like just the graphics and stuff looks quite nice. These symbols are a derivation of the Forerunner glyph system. And our geeks managed to pull some coordinates. I'll give you three guesses where it led. Sir, Gypsy Company is prepped and ready to roll on your orders. Thank you, Palmer. Mr. Lasky, you take point. I want boots on the ground in 60. Captain. This is a first contact scenario, Master Chief. Priority is to free Infinity from Requiem's gravity well and file a threat assessment back at FleetCon. You mean we're leaving? Sir, Infinity drove the Didact back. He's vulnerable. He isn't the only one. You know, I think you, of all people, would appreciate the benefit of living to fight another day. I wouldn't take orders from someone like that. Okay, I thought that went for a lot longer, like an hour, but it was only 47 minutes. But anyways, thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you like my content. And I'll see you in Mission 5 for the Halo 4 Reflow Helmetless HUD mod.